You've known it all since you're here. You've known Barca's years of glory, and you've known the years when it wasn't so good. What was it like playing for Barca when the team wasn't doing all that well? Well, to me, it's double the satisfaction, of course, when things go right. Because for me, Barca is a feeling. I've lived it since I was a child. My family supported Barca, my grandparents, my parents, my siblings. So I always had it around me. And that's the reason why, of course, I feel it very strongly. When times are good and we're winning, I'm unbelievably satisfied because winning is what I enjoy most. But when I lose, I suffer terribly. I consider this my home, and I believe I'm part of the best club in the world, and I suffer. You grew up with Barca. You also grew up in Catalonia, didn't you? Is that a big part of playing for Barca, this vanguard of <laughs> Catalonia? Yes, absolutely. I strongly feel Catalan. And Barcelona represents Catalonia. And we as a team, we represent a lot of people. But Barca is typically identified with Catalonia itself. And we're proud of representing this Catalan feeling the local people have here. We do represent a lot of people, but we also represent Catalonia. So it's really pretty political at the same time as being athletic, isn't it? Yes, I don't like the fact that we mix politics with sports, but of course we're exposed to it. Barca is huge, and of course politicians talk a lot about Barca. Of course it's part of Spanish history. Catalonian history is going through a difficult time right now. Catalonians want their independence, some others don't want it, and Barca is right there in the middle of it.